Hello and welcome to another update video about SEI. Um, again, 30% up today. Um, it's taking that proposed pathway that I mentioned to you in yesterday's video. We talked about two different um, scenarios and um, I highlighted to you that while the microstructure is fairly unclear, we can focus on higher against the orange support area and that it would take minimally a break below the 46 cent level really to suggest that some kind of a top is in place. But we are breaking to the upside yeah, and follow the pathway um, laid out for this third wave. And yeah, bear in mind that third waves can extend. Um, this here is wild. I mean, if this is really a third wave, this is wild. Why? Because this third wave can extend a lot. Um, it is not really possible to predict how much, but we have a one, two setup, another one, two, this, to be honest, could be another one, two, another one, two, and another one, two. That would be a series of five, four, five, one, two setups. I wouldn't believe it necessarily. It, it This also works as a leading diagonal, but then the pullback was too shallow. So I'm just highlighting if this is a series of one, two setups, then this third will extend way beyond ideal um, extension levels yeah so what would be the ideal targets anyway so minimum minimum would be 98 cents for that third wave um, let me just double check that yeah minimum but we can look at further extensions I mean there's another way of um, calculating targets which we can use so what we can do is this and then and then we're talking about, so we can open, put, put them you know, on top of each other. Um, and then normally you would say sort of, yeah, 98 cents on the bigger, on the larger time frame, but looking at the smaller time frame, considering all the extensions, I think, you know, I mean, 98 cents plus, yeah, but then we've got um, $1.6, $1.21, $1.55, wouldn't be unrealistic for yellow wave three. Therefore, <clears throat> what we're doing, and that's what I've been doing all the time in third waves, um, we can just simply add the support level, the 50% retracement level. And the way to do that is we take the beginning of the third wave and we move up the support together with the price. And once the, so let's see, orange, yeah. And only once the 50% retracement level breaks, I'll take the other one off, which is now at 49.8 cents, only then we can confirm that a more substantial top is in place. Until then, a pullback is simply a wave four. The wave four needs to hold the 50% FIP level or it's not reliable. This is only where the micro support is at the moment at 49.8 cents, basically. Yeah, it's 49.8. Um, so that has to move up with the price. The price has now reached the next FIP level, which is the 73 cent level. I think we talked about that yesterday already. It was a, at least it was already on the chart. So a break above that level should quite quickly send it to 98 if we get a sustained break above it. Yeah? And then I will have to move the support level with the price like that. Okay, and it will go up as well. But I can't do that yet. We always have to move it with the price. Um, you can do that on your charts. And the point, or, you know, what's so important about this is that the fourth wave, which is then the pullback that should happen at some point, not yet, ideally not before we break above 98 cents, that pullback shouldn't break below the 50% FIP level. Otherwise, you know, we might have a more substantial top in place. But for now, uh, SEI seems to be taking the direct path. Um, you can also extend this trend line here a little bit that was fairly well defined. Maybe the price will continue to find support along the trend line. And yeah, looking at the bigger picture, I mean, we talked about this being a um, either the white count with a very um, nice five wave move, but we only have waves one and two complete. This day could now be the third wave. And then I did tell you about the microstructures here that we have within the third wave, a one, two setup and the other one, twos as well, possibly. It could also be a C wave, but as I explained yesterday, it doesn't make a difference to me if it's a one, two, three or an ABC, 
uh, it doesn't look finished yet. So the difference between the two will be after we have completed the yellow five wave structure to the upside, does do we get another higher low and another higher high, then we get a five wave move. It will be definitely interesting to see how, how much this extends. Um, I can definitely see it potentially extend quite a bit. Now that's not a prediction, but it is what I see right now in the chart because we see all these possible one, two setups. That's not, that doesn't mean it has to extend a lot, way beyond what would normally be likely, but it means that um, we definitely have to be on the side of caution and have to, have to at least consider it in our plan, okay? Yeah, and not much more to add, so I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.